What's going on guys, RBG here, bringing you another Marvel's Avengers related video. The dust from San Diego Comic Con has somewhat settled and there really hasn't been much news regarding the new Avengers game. Besides the news we got from Marvel's Hall H panel, there wasn't much to talk about, which is a little frustrating because I think we all want to know more about the game, but Crystal Dynamics has been very selective on the information they want to disclose. Because of their tight-lipped approach, Marvel's Avengers has been getting mixed responses. But thanks to things like leaked gameplay footage and the photos of the alternate costumes, fans are beginning to come around. And I think this should serve as a lesson that we shouldn't totally cast judgment on a product that's only shown a fraction of what it has to offer. Although I have my own complaints, I don't think the game deserves the amount of backlash it's gotten, especially with the overall designs that admittedly are a little polarizing in certain aspects. When you hear that the game will feature alternate costumes, it should somewhat put your worries to rest. The developers shouldn't constantly have to hear you complain about how their game looks. I'm just Saying. But anyways, a few days ago, while the Comic Con Hall H panel was going on, we got more details on what alternate costumes would be in Marvel's Avengers with a few snapshots. One of the first was the Joe Fixit skin for the Hulk, which looks to be just a visual upgrade with no special stats. Because if you notice, while Hulk is wearing a different costume, his skin isn't gray like the version he's based on. So something tells me that these will be fun little cosmetic changes, but then again, Crystal Dynamics has gone on record explaining that some of the Avengers abilities will affect their outward appearances. I guess it could go either way. In Marvel Spider-Man, we had quite a few alternate costumes that came with their own unique ability. But you could also switch those powers around for any of the suits, and most of the later additions didn't come with any special abilities. So I guess we'll have to see exactly how Crystal's approach will be for Marvel's Avengers when it comes to costumes. But anyways, besides the Joe Fixit costume for the Hulk, we also got the Sin Iron Man armor costume, Viking Thor costume, and a supposed scale mail costume for Captain America. We only got two pics featuring the Joe Fixit and Painted Face Hulk, but that's about it. It wasn't until a couple days later that we'd get more and these would give us a better idea of the level of quality we'd be getting with the designs. Like, you can tell that the developers are putting a ton of detail into each of these costumes to make them come to life in this more realistic world they're trying to establish. Which seems to be an ongoing trend considering Insomniac also went to great lengths to add more detail to Spider-Man's iconic costumes. Just look at the soles on Spider-Punk's sneakers. If that ain't attention to detail, I don't know what is. But anyways, as I mentioned, we got more photos of costumes we be getting for the Avengers. More specifically, two Captain America suits have leaked, one showing off his scaled suit, and another showing off what appears to be the Captain Steve Rogers or Sam Wilson outfit. Meanwhile, Iron Man's Mark 42 armor has also popped online alongside the Thor's Viking outfit. Now, one of the main things I've taken from this is that the reception to these quote-unquote leaks have been extremely positive, with some wishing that these were the costumes the main Avengers cast should have started out with. And I couldn't agree more with this opinion. I definitely think that the reception would have been a lot more positive than mixed, because a good first impression relies on how good something looks. We expect the characters to look just as bad as they look in the comics and movies. What I find funny is that although Marvel's Avengers is being developed by Crystal Dynamics, it's still a Square Enix published game. And if any of my fellow Marvel heads out there aren't already aware of this, Square Enix already has a well documented history with Marvel products. Something they're widely known for in the collector's community are their Play Arts Kai toys, which are these highly detailed action figures with awesome articulation and posability. What they basically do is take CG models from things like video game, anime, and movie characters and sculpt them into actual figures. But it doesn't just stop there, they actually do their own takes on popular comic book characters. And as you can see, their Marvel related figures have a very Japanese anime-esque aesthetic to them. If there was anything the devs could have done to get us pumped, it would be to use the Marvel variant style for the character designs. Just look at how awesome these things look man. Now granted, although they are the epitome of style incarnate, the designs can be a little hit or miss, because the costumes tend to be a little more busy compared to the usual comic book versions of the characters. But I think they're supposed to be an amalgamation of all the different costumes that the characters have worn in the past with a splash of that Square Enix art style. Going with this method would have probably been a good way to captivate the audience for Marvel's Avengers. But then again, considering the fact that developers absolutely pride themselves on coming up with original concepts, I can't be too mad at this game's art direction. I can honestly see why they didn't go with the Elite Scale Mail suit for Cap, because it's just too easy. But anyway, since we're on the topic of the Scale Mail suit, I noticed some very interesting things about it. At first, I assumed that this was Crystal's rendition of the classic Captain America suit, but as it turns out, this just so happens to be a more recent costume worn by Cap, which is the all new, all different suit from the Captain America Steve Rogers comics. 
and this is a pretty cool costume to add to the game. It's basically a more revamped version of the character that cross-pollinates both the Earth-616 and 1610 Ultimate Captain America. During this time, Steve's original Captain America dish shield was held by Sam Wilson, formerly known as the Falcon, who had taken up the Captain America mantle. For a time, there were two Captain Americas, Sam Wilson and Steve Rogers. While he didn't have his circular shield, he did use one that was similar to his earlier shield except it had a bit of a twist to it. The edges were infused with energy. Currently, the only other game that features the all new, all different Captain America suit is Marvel Heroes and I'm guessing Marvel Future Fight since he's been seen in one of the cutscene trailers. I'm interested in seeing how his gameplay will be and if he actually has the energy shield in Marvel's Avengers. Since we're on the topic of this all new, all different Captain America Steve Rogers, I think it's safe to assume that the other leaked costume is Sam Wilson because they showed these costumes back to back. And as I mentioned earlier, the all new Captain America is closely associated with Sam Wilson's Captain America in the comics. I initially thought it was the Captain Steve Rogers Director of S.H.I.E.L.D. costume since it's been used in a lot of different Marvel lore. One of its first major appearances being in the Winter Soldier movie as a stealth suit. But judging by the skin tone on his neck, it looks to be Sam Wilson. Which is kind of weird in a way, because you'd think they'd just make it a costume for the Falcon if they ever decide to add him into the game. I'm not against Steve Rogers having the suit since it's still very much a Captain America suit, but it's gonna be kind of weird if he has the actual face of Sam Wilson. If they're going with the full-on look for Sam Wilson, then I don't know what stopped them from making the skin on the Joe Fixit alternate costume for the Hulk gray instead of leaving him green. I'm just saying. I'm interested in seeing how much of Sam Wilson's abilities will be added onto the suit. Like are they gonna add the falcon wings? Because if they do, I hope they won't just be there for pointless visuals. I'm hoping to see some kind of gameplay functions for them. As a matter of fact, I hope that's the case for all of the alternate costumes. But anyways, that's all I have to talk about with you guys today. We're getting very close to getting our hands on the actual demo, and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm really concerned on what Crystal Dynamics is gonna allow us to play. I'm kinda understanding why they've been so secretive in showing the gameplay because it could essentially be the demo we're getting, which would be a bummer because we've already seen what it has to offer in multiple leaks. So it's gonna be interesting to see how much new material they add to the demo because it's most likely going to be the A-Day footage we got in E3 and Comic-Con. But we'll just have to wait and see what they decide to do. If anything, they're probably working on the game's performance because the frames have been underwhelming. A solid 30 FPS with motion blur would be the ideal performance for a game that's going to have that cinematic look. It seemed to work wonders with Marvel Spider-Man, but we'll see. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and bring this video to a close. Just wanted to go more in depth with the alternate costumes and give my thoughts. But what do you guys think? Are you happy with the all new, all different cap suit? And do you think Crystal Dynamics should use some of the Play Arts Marvel variant designs? Let me know down in the comments below. As always, I ask that you like or dislike the video. It doesn't have to be a thumbs up, it can be a thumbs down. Any feedback is good, feedback will only help me improve on my channel. But if you really enjoyed the video, it would help me out tremendously if you shared it on social media outlets with all your friends and followers. Sharing really makes a difference. But this is your boy RBG signing out on another video. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.